yeah, that, that just hits the spot. You know what I mean? Like it just, ooh. Now it's no secret that Linux users love their ThinkPads. And if you start getting into the Linux community, you're gonna realize that, damn, like everyone just has ThinkPads. It's like how so many people will have like MacBooks because they're just like, like normies, you know, normies who have MacBooks, all Linux users tend to have ThinkPads. It's just the rule, it's just the rule. But there are actually good reasons why people like ThinkPads. If you compare it to why everyone just loves MacBooks, it's because, oh, it looks very pretty. Oh, it looks so pretty. But ThinkPads like are just genuinely like just good computers. Like to be honest, that's the, that's the reason why. Good computers, <laughs> they just make it good, you know? And that's why people love them because they, they look at it and they're like, you know, everything's good in this. But here are the five like core reasons why Linux users love ThinkPads. And number one, is the most obvious reason is that it works well on Linux. You know, most ThinkPads, although again, like like it's a hit or miss on certain ones, you know, something will not work on this one, but on the other one it will work, you know, it kind of depends. However, in general, it works way better on Linux compared to most laptops. Compared to, let's say you want to use a MacBook on Linux, good luck. Good luck, especially if it's a newer one, it's just a pain. It's a pain, it's possible. It's not impossible, but it's a pain. Certain things will just not work and all the benefits of having a MacBook you lose from using Linux. So it's just like, uh, you know. Again, other laptops will just simply struggle on Linux. Not, again, it's a hit or miss. Laptops are a very annoying thing to get working on Linux. Computers tend to be all right, you know, if you have it plugged in. Like again, it, it really depends on your setup. In general, normal desktops are, are fine. Laptops, a bit of a pain. I've put Linux on two different laptops. One was, it was a HP. Yeah, it was a HP. That was such a pain. It was such a pain. The biggest thing is always the Wi-Fi card. The Wi-Fi card is just good luck. It's it's so annoying. <laughs> but most ThinkPads, especially old ThinkPads, tend to work fine. So as a result, it's just a lot easier to get working from the community because often, you know, these laptops just lose support, you know, for these certain parts. And because they're proprietary, like they're just doomed. They're doomed to never work or with ex without extreme amounts of just messing around with it. So in general, that is the main reason. And also this is not true on the newer laptops, I believe. However, on older laptops, like the X200, which is like a classic, that's just like the most beloved one. That one, that one, or maybe even, oh, actually, I don't know. I think that one, or maybe older ones, you can run it on Libre Boot. Essentially to put it simply, is just like everything on there is FOSS, everything. Every single pro there's not a single amount of proprietary software on it. So if you're really into that, then you can achieve that with all the ThinkPads, which is not possible on most newer laptops. So it's very hard to. Even newer ThinkPads, I think you can't do it. But older ones, you can. And then the second reason is that it's repairable. You know, ThinkPads don't treat you like, like Lenovo doesn't treat you like an idiot. You know, especially the older ones. I think the newer ones are a little bit harder to repair but the older ones were just extremely easy to repair. They just screws there and just you pull it out and you fix it, you know, it was fine. It's not like Apple, you just, you just can't. You literally just cannot. Even if you did, you would trigger something that would essentially say, no, you can't use your laptop because X, Y, Z, because you touched it, you shouldn't touch it. They don't want you to touch it. Lenovo doesn't treat you like a kid. It lets you touch it. It lets you repair it. And then number three is that it's cheap. In general, ThinkPads just tend to be cheap, especially used used old ThinkPads because a lot of people, they'll have Windows on it and obviously it runs like crap, you know, because Windows is bloated using an old laptop and they just sell for cheap. They're like, who wants this chunk? But Linux users do because Linux users buy it up. They put on like a very lightweight distro. They put a lightweight, you know, they just keep it clean. They keep it minimalist and then it runs well. Like it, it runs like a new computer, it works perfectly fine. So generally, if you buy an old ThinkPad, really easy to get a good, like actual good uh, ThinkPad that will last for quite a bit and is also very cheap. And number four, the keyboard is just like nothing else. It's just, you can't explain it until you just hear it and actually try it for yourself. And actually for me, you know, when it comes to the question, like why do all Linux users love ThinkPads? I fell for the meme. I have a Linux, I have my own ThinkPad running Arch Linux. And this is one of the newer ones. It's not like the, it's one of the newer ones, but I like it, it's clean. 15 inch E15, yeah, E15. And just, just listen to this. Oh yeah, that, that just hits the spot. You know what I mean? Like it just, ooh. Yeah, beaut, 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 beaut. Honestly, I've used, I've never been the laptop person, but I've used laptops before. Most of the time the keyboards are just horrible. They just, 
disgusting, but even this one, even this one with the new keyboard, it just still, yeah, it's just beautiful, like, it's just, it's such a nice keyboard, just like, you know, it's got a thock to it, but if you compare it to, like, newer, like, MacBook, like, if you've ever used a MacBook keyboard, that is the worst thing I've ever done, like, it's just, like, I hate it, I, I just genuinely hate it, I, I can't, I can't stand it, but especially just newer laptop keyboards, just horrible, the older, the older, ThinkPads, I think, also have, like, really... I think that those are the ones that everyone loves. Like, that's even better than the one I have. But, you know, I'm happy the one... I'm happy with the one I have, but... Especially the older ones, they have amazing keyboards. And then, finally, durability. To be honest, there's so many clips of, like, water tests, of electrical tests. Like, you know, it's insane. The laptop is, like, a tank. It just... It's a beast, you know? It just, like... It, it withstands anything. You really can't... It's hard to just kill it you know, compare it to, and it's also, because it's cheap, like, even if you do, it's like, whatever, you know, I'll just buy a new one, it's not like a MacBook, you gotta, like, treat it like a baby, you gotta have all these, like, cases, and stuff. it's like, the ThinkPads, you can just chill, you can just chill, it works, maybe we'll get a scratch, oh, okay, but it's literally gonna, work. like, it'll be fine, you could probably shoot a gun to it, and it still works somehow, just somehow, like, you could literally shoot it, shoot it through the screen, and it'll probably be fine, <laughs> but yeah, that's about it, those are the five, I think, biggest reasons why people like, um, I was 10, five biggest reasons why people love, uh, ThinkPads, even me. Overall, just, you know, works well on Linux, is repairable, it's cheap, it's got an amazing keyboard, it's just durable. So, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you found it insightful, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.